Hi, YouTube. Miles here with my Overlord deck profile. Um, we got the Ride Line, which is the Overlord one. It's the Encounter cards, which have the gray. That's not gray. It's rock. And then the black. That's their cards. Uh, start off with Lizard Runner Undu. Uh, its skill is just when the student is wrote upon. If it's your second, uh, if you went second, draw a card. Standard for all of the grade one, uh, grade grade zero starters. Um, you run Embodiment of Armor Bar. The student's skill is when it is wrote upon by Nahalem. Uh, Counterblast one. Search your deck for up to one grade one. Reveal it and add it into your hand. Then shuffle. So it's just Conroe, but better. Um, because you don't have to, you know, kill anything. Uh, when you and then it's other skill. Oh no, later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, cool. And then the aforementioned Dragon Knight Nahalem. Um, its Vanguard skill is when it's rowed upon by a unit with Overlord in the name. Call this card to Rearguard. So it's nice that you can ride and then just get an additional Rearguard. And then finally, of course, we run Dragonic Overlord. Um, the skill is during the battle, this unit attacked a Rearguard. Your opponent cannot call cards from their hand to Guardian Circle. So they can't guard their rear guards at all unless by a skill. No, unless, yeah, just by like, I don't know, uh, by, unless by intercept, it's not really going to matter. So it basically guarantees, it, it nearly guarantees that you'll hit their rear guard, uh, which allows you to pop off its second skill, which is once per turn when its attack hits any unit, uh, counterblast one and discard a card, restand this unit and it gets minus one drive. Um, so it's like, that's, you know, just kind of the D version of Overlord. So here's the rest of the deck. Uh, we run three more Dragonic Overlord. So, you know, you can Persona Ride because that's important. Uh, for our other grade three, I run four Penetrate Dragon Tribash. This unit skill is when it's on rear guard. Uh, when your Vanguard attacks, if your opponent has no, no, has two or less rear guards, Shove this unit into the soul and choose one of your vanguards and it gets an additional crit until end of that battle. So it's kind of just for like, it's just for Overlord to be, you know, slightly more threatening. Um, you, you can use Overlord, you know, kill off a rear guard. The, the deck does enough retiring that you're going to get your opponent down to, to two. Um, you don't totally need to learn this card. I've seen lists that literally just run Overlord as a grade three and then they use the, the four extra slot slots to like run other cards but i don't know I, I i like this build i like the that the crit adds some additional pressure um and like there's not there's not really a lot i'd replace this card with it's 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 not that it's amazing it's that there's not many other great choices um but let me know debate me in the comments so those are the grade threes whoopsie uh, we run four, three, Dragon Knight and Hollem. So um, this unit's rear guard skill that I didn't mention is uh, act once per turn. If your Vanguard is Overlord, or if you have an uh, Overlord Vanguard, Soul Blast one, and this unit and all of your Vanguards get plus 5k until end of turn. So it powers up itself and Overlord, just some additional power if you want to try and push a little bit. Um, it... It's good. Uh, honestly, the fact that like this deck has a bit of a problem generating a field, so it's nice to not have to rely on a booster for Nahalem to like hit something. But the deck is mainly centered around serving the Vanguard. So uh, speaking of, we run for Berserk Dragon. Uh, its skill is when this unit attacks, if you have a Vanguard with Overlord in its card name, this unit gets 5k until end of that battle. Then uh, you can counterblast one, choose one of your opponent's grade two or less rear guards, and retire it. So it's nice because it allows you to pick off back row units. And again, just helps overlord skill, but really run four. It's super easy to, it, the cost is super easy. And like getting to pick off back row units or just important units that your opponent has is extremely helpful. Uh, then I run two order cards. It's flame dragon bombardment this is a fun card uh you kind of don't need to run it but i do and it's funnily enough help me out um choose one of your vanguards and until end of turn it gets red text continuous vanguard all of your units can attack your opponent's back row rear guards when they would attack you turn everything into a tejas basically um 
So it's super helpful for Overlord because you kind of want to, you know, increase the chance of like seeing a trigger. You kind of want to hit back row rear guard. You kind of want to hit rear guards. So if your opponent's being smart, then they're not going to call like front row or they're going to limit their front row or just, you know, something. Um, this allows you to kind of shoot over that issue. Though, if you're being smarter, you just wouldn't have built this deck in the first place. <laughs> For grade ones, we run three embodiment of armor bar. Um, it's great. It's rear guard skill is once per turn. When your vanguard's attack hits, this unit gets 5k until end of the turn. So nice little 13k poke or boost. Um, it's basically guaranteed when you attack with Overlord. So it's like, it's just nice to have. Here is an awesome card. I love this. Uh, so this is Dragon Monk Gojo. Absolutely run four. Uh, its skill is on rear guard. When the vanguard's attack hits, when the Vanguard's attack that this unit boosted hits, retire this unit and counter charge. So again, as I said, if you're attacking a rear guard with Overlord, it's kind of guaranteed to hit. Um, the deck, have, as you can see, counter blasts won pretty frequently. Having Gojo on board to help with that, it, it makes it just run a lot smoother. So please run four, do yourself the favor. Um, and then I run three Stealth Dragon Tenchestead. Uh, its skill is when this when the attack this unit boosted hits, counterblast one and retire this unit. Choose one of your vanguards, search your deck for up to one uh, copy of that card, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle. Um, so the card's good. Uh, the counterblast and retiring itself kind of sucks, but there are moments where I would much rather have a Persona ride than a booster um and it's pretty if it's boosting your vanguard it's pretty guaranteed that you're going to pull off its skill uh it's just that sometimes like i've seen decks that run uh togachirashi for the soul but like the, that deck doesn't this deck doesn't discard enough i think to warrant that i think that this card overall just helps like in more situations um so then I just run for PG, Twin Buckler Dragon. It's the free PG. So if you have two or less cards in hand, you can play it for free. Uh, we run one, the only one you can, uh, Over Trigger, Dragon Deity, King of Resurgence, Drag Veda. Its additional skill is choose one of your vanguards and stand it. So with Overlord, that's three vanguard attacks, which is kind of funny. Um, and then I run four, Conduct Spark Dragon and three blaze made in zone or zone so it's seven crit uh your vanguard's going to be restanding you want it to have that additional crit um you don't really need fronts in this deck because again generating a field is a bit difficult and it's just not important that your rear your rear guards already can't hit high numbers so like what's that additional 10k to, to rely on uh, for heal, I like White Light Dragon Parasolus because it is very cute and uh, it's not a slap in the face to the lore um, and then I run four Rushing Dragon Steel Delofo. Uh, it's just the drop. Yep, just four draw. So, um, pretty standard. Uh, there are a couple things you can, you can, like, cycle through. I know that I've seen some decks run, um, I forget his name. It's a grade one. I don't have it immediately on me, so I'm not going to put in the effort to grab it. But, uh, it skills, like... When your Vanguard's attack hits or when a unit's attack hits, retire it and Soul Blast one, I think. And then you get to like pick two units and give them 10K or something or 5K. I don't remember entirely what it does, but it, it is nice. It's just, I kind of like Tenchestead more, but really having Tenchestead in the deck does allow for some like, like Tenchestead and Tribash can both be moved out for different cards. So play around with those everything else i would highly recommend keeping it the way it is um because they're the rest of the cards work very uh nicely in service to overlord but those those other ones tend just and try bash you can take them out it's not a huge deal uh in fact try out different builds let me know how you like it um and maybe i can make this deck slightly better it's not amazing by any means but it's kind of fun actually like i don't i don't dislike it so Here's Overlord. Um, hopefully we don't get any more support for it because I want Overlord to rest in the ground where it belongs. But 
here it is now. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.